hi it's me um i'm making this video because um okay I, I want you to know what i mean when i say i'm trans oh my god <laughs> okay so i'm trans i am cal and um you may have noticed that i changed my name on facebook to cal uh you know and it used to be Callie. Um, I feel like that's a thing that people might have noticed. I feel like I said a couple things and now people are wondering. You know, one time, one time I was in St. Louis and uh, I was at a bar um, and I said, hey, I am Cal. And at the time, that was a big deal. And the girl said, oh, um, Cal, okay, like, is that short for anything? And I was like, you know, no not for anything she's like really it's not short for calvin and i was like oh yeah i mean you know what actually uh yeah it, it is it's 100 percent short for calvin thank you for reminding me and so i've been thinking about names i've been thinking i've been thinking about calvin i have been thinking about calvin because you know hey <clears throat> hey i'm calvin who doesn't love that shit uh like maybe calvin luca calamia Get a little Italian action in there. I mean, my little brother said he's not sure if they have a trans model yet for Calvin Klein, and I feel like I could do that. My little brother also said I should um, maybe try out the name Cornelius. He said Cornelius reminds him of like a scrawny, skinny, dweeby boy, and that's what I am. Cornelius, really? Cornelius? If you asked me what was up and um, I sent you a link to this video, it is because I love you, but um, it's also because I'm tired. Yeah, uh, I'm a human and I'm trans and really, I'm just really tired of explaining myself in a million different, you know, to, I'm, I'm just, <sighs> I'm just gonna say it right here and I'm just gonna say it and I'm just gonna send it to everyone. When I talk sometimes about like what it means for me to be trans, I feel like uh, that dude in that computer game, and I don't know if y'all ever played this. I'm gonna try to find some video to put up of it right now. Okay, but so I'm pretty sure if you go, okay, game where you try to make the guy run. Oh, this is so it. But. It's that the dude in the computer game and in order to get the guy to walk you have to like Press all the buttons in like a correct order and it's like boom 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 and then his limbs move and he's like Bleh. But then what ends up happening at the end is like I mean it's mechanically impossible to get this dude to move So he's all like wait, 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 wait. Why am I going backwards? Twist it up and he's got like his, his he's got like his head like wrapped over his like his like his arm and he's got and then his leg and then it's like ah, and he's like falling over like he's not walking it's not making any sense, it's not working. And that's like sometimes how I feel when I try to explain being trans and it's like, for a lot of people that I know really love me, it's kind of just like, okay, well, I mean, I love you no matter what. And then I'm like, okay, I love you, I love you no matter what too. And then it's just like, and I'm like, okay, are we not, are we just not gonna acknowledge what's going on here? And then I know in their brain just like, if people implode, I know what's really the first thing they think of because it's the first thing that other people ask and want to know is just like, what is in your pants? In what world is that an appropriate question? It's just like, dude, like, are you really going to feel better if you know what's down here? I, I don't think you are. You don't need to know that. You don't, you don't need to know that. You really don't. And if you, if you want to know that, then you should... Try to hook up with us, but you know, we don't really hook up with people that are really that shallow, so you're probably never gonna find out, I'm sorry. The point is, people don't understand me when I just say I'm trans. People don't understand what I'm talking about. Sometimes I don't even understand what I'm talking about. Whereas when it's like, oh, I'm gay, it's like, oh, ho, ho, I know what that is. Questions are so okay, because if you're asking questions because you're curious, it, if, if that's because you care, I mean, that's amazing. Like, ask away. I couldn't ask for, like, anything more than for you to care and for you to want to learn. But if you're asking questions because you are shallow and you want to be judgmental and you are a nosy asshole, then you can just go. No, no, like, really. Like, 
click out of this video. I don't want to tell you anything else. Goodbye. We're just gonna we're gonna just wait for those people to go. They gone. Okay. People who feel like they understand me feel like they're sure of one thing. And the thing that they're sure of is that I must have been born, I must have been born in the wrong body. Because that's what trans is. That's the, that's the simplest way that we can try to understand what it means to be trans. I think about this question all the time for myself. Was I born in the wrong body? I don't know if I was born in the wrong body. I mean, I think that it might not be the best fit for me. But I don't think it's wrong. And, you know... I think that I can be myself in a body that's slightly different than this body. Um, I think I can be myself when my body catches up to my brain a little bit better. So what? So what? I'm a boy? Uh, have I always been a boy? I mean, I, I don't really know that either. I'm sorry. Um, I mean, I know that I don't resonate with womanhood. Uh, I don't know. I remember thinking when I was a little kid, I remember a very specific moment and I was in the store and I remember thinking. I got chipped. I got screwed. You know, I have to be a girl and I never get to be a boy. And in some ways I tried, you know, like when there were the, there were the porta potties in the park and those were the best cuz they had the urinals in them and I would always just be like, oh, "I'm gonna try that out." I don't know. I I admired boys in a way that I couldn't explain and I was so interested in them and learning about them and knowing them and and I had recurring dreams when I was a kid of just like the male anatomy. I kept dressing up as a boy for Halloween. Um, I felt like when I did that I was breathing for the first time. My therapist told me uh, when I talked through this with him the costume was permission. Oh man I love my therapist. The first time that I actually went and bought these boys clothes and I was like I'm gonna wear them out I'm gonna wear them out and put them on and I was in my little neighborhood and no one was really out but I walked half a block down the street and then um I turned around <laughs> I turned around and I went back to my room and I was like oh no 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 so we need to make some more space for for this I've hated bathing suits since I was a little kid I used to wear like swim trunks over my bikinis and it was all cool and whatever when I was like a little straggly little twig I hope I can like put a picture of that in here because this is just you gotta see this uh, but yeah I mean but as I got older and I started to like kind of develop like a body I was like I think it might be better if I just don't swim because this is the most uncomfortable thing ever and I what it is is the bathing suit is outing it's it's it puts me out into the world as a person that can easily be perceived as a female and it's not cool people think i'm a woman and i'm like oh no 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 this is just the outfit it's just the outfit okay just the outfit. i mean fuck boobs right i mean i, I love them i love them just not like not for me if you're like, whoa, what's up with your super flat chest? I mean, right now I'm not wearing anything under here, but I wear a binder. And what a binder is, is it's just like a... So then people can't tell you have boobs. And it's like, why would you ever do that? Why would I do that? I don't know, because it hurts. It, it actually physically hurts me, but if I don't wear it, again, it's like I'm outed. So, I mean, when the pain is really bad and, like, the anxiety is also really bad, I sometimes just, like don't go out like just kind of cancel the plans and just kind of and yeah so I need top surgery as soon as possible um, and actually my super awesome therapist submitted my referral and so my referral surgery is being processed right now so I should hear back from them can can y'all can we get the can we get the ball rolling so I cut, I cut my hair in like October of a, like a couple of years ago and uh, then I think in December I was already in Spain uh, with my girlfriend and when we were walking around in Las Calles, the two of us were always chicos and if you know anything about the language that means that I was being perceived as a dude and I loved it. I, I loved it. And when I came back to the States, I almost immediately moved out to San Francisco. San Francisco was safe. San Francisco is safe. I mean, people call me a dude. People will always call me he or they. And if they don't know, it's always they. And it's just never she. And uh, in other places, I was like, getting kicked out of bars for um, for being perceived as just a dude trying to get away with using a girl ID. First of all, who does that? And some of those experiences were humiliating. And I think uh, when they happened, I was forced to face something that I had kind of been not dealing with. I realized that the person I 
I it wasn't it wasn't the boy me that I resented for those experiences it was um it was the girl it was the girl in the ID that I resented and shortly after that when I was in Mexico with my family I met up with a few friends and I went into the women's bathroom and I uh, was forcibly pulled out of the bathroom by a man that was gritándome en español eh, diciéndome que no soy mujer para nada y por eso tengo que salir y he, he, he came into the bathroom yelling at me and he grabbed me and he whipped me out of there in front of tons of people and it was terrible <laughs> and I mean I decided at that point like it was probably time to like really kind of stop lying to myself I mean I was like you know I, I didn't I didn't even know what I was saying I was like do you, I, I am you know yo soy quieres ver mis tetas you know I was like defensive and I was afraid and then you know I did come to all these realizations but it was after sitting there on a bench and in the middle of the night at a bar on a beach in Mexico crying by myself but we get so politicized about, you know, people's identities. We get so sure that we can speak on behalf of other people and what they need. And so, you know what, if you want to weigh in about the bathroom issue, think about, for me, for just a second, who it is that's really getting assaulted in bathrooms. Because the trans people aren't assaulting people. You know, I got I got really uncomfortable using the women's bathroom because people would stare at me like I didn't belong there. And then after that incident, after getting pulled out of there, I felt like people thought I was being creepy. And so then I eventually got a lot more comfortable using the men's bathroom. Um, but the men's isn't great either. First of all, I can't stand to pee. So, uh, you know, everyone assumes that every time I go in there, I'm taking a giant shit, which isn't great. So. You know, then if, of course, if there's, I'm kind of headed into the men's bathroom, but then maybe like three men are walking in together at the same time, I get kind of freaked out and I just like don't go in there. And, you know, especially if, even if it's one dude and he's like making an offhanded comment either to me or something that seems like he wouldn't necessarily be the type of guy who would allow me to want to be another dude just kind of peeing in there with him. You bet your ass I'll just start away and I'll just hold it. We need gender neutral bathrooms. Like, we really, we really need gender-neutral bathrooms. I know it's like, oh, you're so brave and articulate, and, like, you're so vulnerable. Okay, well, thank you, uh, but I am scared. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid that I'm just fucking weird, honestly, and I'm afraid of the physical changes because I'm afraid that people won't find me attractive anymore, and, like, I know how stupid that is. I mean, what's gonna happen if what's gonna happen if people don't think I'm cute? What's gonna happen if that changes? I just I'm I'm worried. I'm scared. I'm scared. You know, like my little cousins are gonna see me and I'm gonna like have a mustache and they're just gonna be like, what the heck? I'm afraid, like as a high school teacher, that kids will make fun of me. I'm afraid. I'm afraid that my mom will be disappointed when she looks at me and she's like, you would never disappoint me, but like I feel like I would. But uh, you know, I know I know what'll happen when. You know when these things change i uh the people that you know love me when it's all said and done will be the people that love me for real for real i guess you know and i'm learning a little more every day to just really be okay with that and uh, not even to just be okay with that but to be happy with that i think may hopefully i'm still gonna like have a cute face so like it's okay if you like if you like like my face too and like it'll be good it's just like you know I might get abs like that are a little even better and then like like this is like a kind of a flex but like I might be able to do better. What am I doing? I'm trying to trying to get these these trying to get these boobs off. Um stabbing myself with a needle in the abdomen every week. Should I demo that? I don't know. I'm gonna stab myself now. So if you don't wanna see that then don't look. It's this little thing. You don't even take the whole thing, you take like half of it. It's like it's so crazy. I feel like fucking Superman. Why not Nacho? I'm doing something. God. So anyway, um, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm, I won't see changes for like months, but uh, I'm doing it. I want my life back. I don't want to spend my 
life worrying and theorizing about this or that I wanted I wanted I'm doing it now <laughs> instead of um, I mean I'm still staying up very late googling things but I can do maybe less of that I'm finally speaking my truth and like oh my god I'm so nervous about this but it's fine uh, is you know I'm telling people what I need from them and it's just like kind of about time I tell people what I need from them so what can you do what can you do? Oh my god, I'm so glad you asked. Thank you for being here. Uh, just, you know, don't call me a girl, uh, really. And I know, like, for pronouns, like, you want to use they or he on me, that would be so, so ideal. And, I mean, here, just peep this message that I sent to my staff at work. And this is, like, kind of my, my attitude around all that. <clears throat> But you know, if you if you mess up, I'm really not gonna yell at you. Just just try. I mean, please try. That's really it. I know, and this is hard for me, but I've been your niece. I've been your best friend. I've been your girlfriend. I've been your you know your granddaughter. I've been your favorite girl cousin. I've been your whatever whatever feminine whatever woman whatever shit. Miss Kalamia. I've been your sister. I've been your daughter. And I've like really loved being all of those things. I'm sorry, um, but I'm I'm I will love more the opportunity to be just your partner, your grandchild, just your sibling, <laughs> like your cousin, your favorite teacher, you know, your favorite poet, your brother, your son. And if you love love me, if you love love me, what will never change is the fact that I'm always gonna be your cow. Don't even, you know I've been becoming exactly who I am right now for my entire life. I'm ready to stop thinking about the things that I need to ask of you to finally feel okay. I'm ready to just feel, I'm ready to just feel right. I'm ready to see myself as the person that I am and I'm just ready for you to see me that way. So what can you do? Just tell my story, you know, just tell my story but don't speak for me. Just ask me questions, but just do your research first. And like, literally, please just love me. Thank you. I love you. I love I love everyone. I don't know if you if you know me, if you don't know me, if you're like just here for the ride, if you're here because you're like, what, Grandpa? If you're watching this, oh my God. Oh, you can call me. I I just ah. I need to post this before I break the memory card in half. Okay. Okay. All right. Bye. Dang. Like it's pretty good for no testosterone.